In this video, I'm going to be showing you one simple ingredient that you can use to achieve almost anything you want in life. If you are interested, then let's get into it. Hi, you are welcome back to my channel. My name is Lukman, and on this channel, we talk money, spirituality, and simple life hacks. Today, I'm going to be showing you one simple ingredient that a lot of people overlook, but that is very important. We are going to be using this to pray for whatever we desire in life. Are you looking, are you looking for a job? Are you looking for suto? Are you looking for the fruit of the womb? Are you looking for money? Is your finances not going okay? Are you not selling in your source? Things are not working for you generally. Then, if you fall into any of this category, then this simple uh, ingredient is going to help you a lot. And you are just going to be praying with it. You don't need to add anything. You don't need incantation with it. What you need to do is just be praying with your mouth what you want, and it will definitely come to pass. So, what is this ingredient that I've been talking about? It is the white candle. White candle. You can see, this is a white candle. There are different types of candle. There are red, there are blue, there are black, there are green. There are different colors of candle and there are bigger candle there are smaller ones but all you need is a white candle it might be the small type it might be the bigger type but all you want is just a candle now what are you going to be using the candle for or what are you going to be doing with the candle like i said in the in the beginning you are going to be using this for prayer all you need to do is you just light the candle and once you light it, you just ask for whatever you desire. And it will definitely come to pass. Let me just tell you briefly about candle. Candle has been used from time immemorial. Some cultures don't joke with candles. Some societies like Italy, uh, Rome, Greece, all these are... Uh, Christian dominated walls, don't joke with candle. And some spiritual houses don't joke with candles. They don't play with candles. And spiritualists who knows the importance of candle don't joke with candle. If you really understand that candle has been used from ages, you need to start asking why are they using it? They are not just using it, they are using it to pray, to manifest, to attract goodness. Because candle, what candle signifies purity, it signifies rebirth, it also signifies uh, freedom, and it is known to attract positive energy. And that is why it is mostly used in prayer, in prayer houses, where before they do anything, they light the white candle, because it repairs anything negative and brings positive Thing to you. So whatever you are asking for, the positivity surrounding white candle will make that thing to come to pass quickly. It will make your prayer to be answered. So what are you going to be doing? You are going to be lighting one candle. One candle. Just light one candle. There are different ways to use it, but the simplest of them that I'm going to be discussing in this video is just light one candle. Once you light one candle, just light it and continue to pray for all those things you want. And don't forget, anything you don't want, you have to also say it so that it will go because it drives neg negativity and attracts positivity, it brings positivity to you. Whenever you see what can do lighted as in prayer, every, everything there will become pure, will become positive, making your prayer to be answered speedily. So, when are you going to be doing it? 
The best time to do this is in the night. In the night, when the whole environment is calm and when you're about to go to bed. I would suggest midnight. But if you cannot do it midnight, then you can start doing it when the whole environment is cool, like from 10 p.m. When the whole environment is calm, just light it. And if you want to light it, please, if you have a carpeted floor, don't light it on a carpeted floor. Don't light it on a wooden uh, surface. The best place to light it is on a floor, a bare floor, or uh, a, a, a floor that you have ties or cemented floor. But if you cannot do that, if you have a rug in your house, if you have a carpet in your house, what you can do is get a plate, a glass plate, or a ceramic plate. Please don't use plastic. Don't use plastic. Get a white plate, I mean a glass plate or a ceramic plate or a metal plate. Then you light this on top. That is, if you cannot do it on a bare floor, then you do it on a plate. Once you light it, then you go ahead to offer your prayer. And you should, the, the candle can take time to burn, but just offer your prayer. Immediately you are done. If you are the type that can pray very well, you can pray for as long as the thing burns. But if you are not the type that pray so much, just say those things you don't want. Then say the things you want. Then go ahead to sleep. You cannot light what can do and start doing other things. Once you light this candle and you finish your prayer, you are going to bed. Don't watch what Netflix. Don't watch videos. Don't watch Nollywood. Don't watch any other things. Don't watch TV. Don't start discussing. Don't start doing any strenuous activity. You are going to sleep. Because as you are sleeping, as the candle is burning, then it is doing the work for you. Everything you ask for is making it to come to pass. And the Almighty knowing that what negativity is not with you is only positivity the almighty will run and attend to your prayer some people will say they don't know how to pray well prayer is nothing but saying those things that you don't want and the things you want if you don't know how to pray at least you know what you want if you cannot say your prayer then you can say what you don't want and say what you want once you can say that then you have done the right thing you have done your part just leave it let it go and go and sleep I would suggest you do this consecutively, seven days. Conse that means you are doing it seven nights consecutively. I would suggest because that's the best time. That's, the, that's what I've done and I've achieved the best results. And I've given it to so many people and they've achieved results. Do it consecutively for seven nights. And you come and thank me for this. If you cannot do it for seven nights, then you want to do it for at least three nights. At least three nights at least three nights. So, you cannot do it seven nights, then you are doing it three nights. Is that three nights or seven nights? But I would suggest seven nights. Seven nights is the best. It will give you the best uh, result. After this, you come and give me your testimony. Just go to the comments. If you have done this before, if you have seen this before, if you have had it before, just comment. And if you believe, your prayers will be answered. You can also go to the comment and type my prayer is answered don't say i believe i my prayer just say my prayer is answered and definitely it will come to pass by the way if you have not subscribed to this channel consider subscribing subscription is free you are not paying anyone for this just click on the subscribe button and you see the bell will come out click on the bell that is the notification bell now when next i release videos you'll be the first to be notified until i come your way again remain spiritually intelligent and don't forget, we can succeed together. Thanks.